So today's topic, I wanted to briefly uh, explain my thoughts on the whole KD and stats in video games these days, if you've, as you've noticed from the video description. Felt uh, putting some uh, Battlefront gameplay was appropriate because this game is very uh, slapstick silly in terms of not being, that's not supposed to be taken seriously in terms of if you're trying to go for high KD or stats, then you're doing it wrong. Uh, there, there's so much random crap that will screw you over in this game. Um, you know, it's it's not really the most uh, balanced game. It's not meant to be. Yet yeah, there's people who still take it seriously. But anyways, that's why I decided to put this in the background. Because it's just a fun game to screw around. If you take it too serious, uh, you can get angry pretty quick, I bet. And there's probably players that do that. I don't think the Battlefront series has ever meant to have been taken ultra serious. But anyways, um, yes, today I'm here to talk about the elusive KD and stats and what I think about it and what it's kind of done to gaming in general over the years that I've seen firsthand, both on forums and, and in games. Um, and also someone who actually works in the games industry, as people know, or those who know where I work. If you haven't figured it out now, just go to my Halo game place and you'll see pretty easily. But anyways, having that perspective, I felt it would be useful to some people. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, the long story short, I could go on for hours about this and there's been long debates about it online on forums, you know, so this very short video here is obviously not going to cover every facet of it. But, um, these are my thoughts on it, and this is kind of the bundled up version for anyone who's curious or wanted just to hear me talk some more, because I don't do commentaries enough on the channel, so here we go. Um, yeah, I don't really care about KD and stats that much in games. Um, it's actually quite funny, the other day I got sent a rage message in Battlefront in a match where I was winning every match and the guy's like, I don't know how to farm or get maximum points. I never replied back, but they seemed pretty salty, I guess. I don't know if they were wanting... They were trying to put me down because I wasn't getting the most kills in the match or something, yet we were winning the objective. But, um... I feel like the more online games have got, the more, you know, we have in-game stats, website stats, for everything and anything you do, you can now get judged by your peers for everything. It's ridiculous. Um, I mean, this goes way back even before Xbox One. On the Xbox 360s, you know, those days, PS3, Xbox 360 is when it started to get even more prevalent. Um, you know, Halo 2 back on the original Xbox, you know, that's where trash talking and stuff began, but uh, that's another topic for another day, day about trash talking and stuff, but uh, this is about stats. Um, you know, I don't think stats were as big of a deal. I think people were having more fun just doing trash talking and um, goofing off. But with the Xbox 360 and stuff uh, and games, especially ones that I even I got into midway, like Battlefield. I started playing Bad Battlefield uh, during Bad Company 2 and really enjoyed it. It was a very team-oriented. Uh, people were playing the objective. There weren't a lot of people who would purposely camp as much. And then, you know, Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, I've seen it way more. Um, I've unfortunately seen posts on uh, forums for veteran Battlefield players that are sad how the game has changed because it's all about people padding their stats in matches and they're not going for the conquest points or whatever. There's people who are in rush, not actually rushing, you know. Um, and it's because these in-game stats are, you know, there, whereas they weren't in the past. Uh, even in this match, I bet, that you're watching right now, there's probably somewhere, someone somewhere on my team or the other team that's just sitting back. Doesn't give a crap about the objective points. Is just trying to get as many kills as they can. And they don't care if uh, their team wins or loses. It's all about their own personal stats. And that's, it's a shame it's come to that where in the past gaming was more about just having fun. And that's what I do. I play for fun. Um, people can argue, well... I've seen your Halo matches and you play pretty competitive and stuff and you seem to take it pretty seriously and you got a lot of perfections and it's like yeah 
um, I play well, it doesn't mean that I'm taking my KD super serious. I couldn't even tell you what my KD, my exact KD ratios in the Halo games are. I'm, I know when the last time I checked, they were pretty good, um, but they aren't really a basis for what other people use them as. Um, game developers, you know, put those stats in more as like, you know, see how you stack up against your friends or a personal tracking tool, you know, to see if you can improve, slowly improve, you know. And some people actually do use it for that, but it's unfortunately, even with the Halo 3 days on the Bungie farms, you know, um, seeing post after post of people judging other players, players they don't even know what their skill level is, probably. But they're like, man, I have a higher KD than this person, and my rank's higher than them. So I'm gonna go trash talk them on the forum and tell them how much of a scrub they are, and they don't know how to play, and they don't they don't have a right to talk about whatever this gameplay change is because they're terrible by their stats. You know, it's like that. It's infuriating. Um, I never had it done to me because most times people can't use it against me because my stats were usually better. But then I would use that, be like, well, my stats are higher than you, and I don't believe this is true or whatever from whatever they are trying to put down other players. But um, um obviously. If it's like a pro scene, competitive thing, and you have a, a low rank player that is obviously not as skilled, you know, trying to say something, obviously, um, it may not hold as much weight, but that's not 99% of the situations that people use their stats against other players for. Um, even in Battlefield, it's completely sad. When you, when you go to Battle Log and you read the forums, there's always some guy there talking about their KD ratio, <laughs> bragging, it's it's really ridiculous, like, if you don't have a 2.0 or higher, you're not allowed to post in this forum, or this thread, or you should be banned, you know, sometimes they're joking, but they're literally using their stats just to purposely incite anger and frustration to other players, and um, that's the other hilarious thing, is these people that usually do that, are usually not that great because they're purposely lowering their rank like people would you know even in Halo 5 there's people who would perfectly purposely create smurf accounts to uh, you know play against really bad players so they could boost their ego and their stats um, there's people that are currently in Halo 5 you know beating up on bronze and silver players getting 4.0 keys and then bragging on forums how good they are compared to other players that only have a 1.5 yet they fail to realize the players that have a 1.5 are playing against Platinum, Diamond, and Onyx players and champions. Yet, if those same players were playing against lesser skilled players, they could, they would be just doing just as good or even have a higher KD. That's why I find stats pretty irrelevant outside of using it as a personal tool to judge your stats. And I really don't care about stats. And, I mean... I play games, but I also play, like, bot matches and stuff. You guys have seen plenty of games from, like, Killzone, um, and, uh, Call of Duty, and Gears of War, even Battlefront Offline Battles mode, you know, those don't have stats, and I, I play those very quite often. If I really cared about stats and wanted to brag, I would not be playing offline bot matches most of the times, but I do, because they're more enjoyable sometimes than online, because I don't have to worry about those guys sitting in the back of the map adding their stats. Um, I think one of the biggest things that I've noticed uh, in the past was in Halo Reach. Anybody who's played on Hemorrhage, you probably noticed there's those guys who team betray to get the sniper and then they camp in the back of the map. They could care less about protecting your flag. All they want to do is get 25 kills and two deaths and then move on to the next objective and keep camping. You know, players like that are completely pointless. Um, some people bring up like the argument, well, if you can get a lot of ki if you're good at getting kills, then you know you're more useful to players than those that are just dying. Um, to a degree, yes, but not really. If all you're doing is padding stats and you literally walk by your team's objective and you're not doing it because there's an enemy you need to kill first, then you're no better than the player who runs constantly forward in a straight line over and over again like a robot dying, never actually getting the objective. I mean, that's how pointless most times people who go for KD. And I like to just point out in this gameplay right here, this is the first time 
that you guys are seeing me play as a hero finally. If you go back to all my other Battlefront videos, I never got the chance, but here I am. I finally get to play as a hero, which is pretty awesome because it's so hard to get this hero icon. But anyways, um, yeah, it's, it's just frustrating because the KD in Stats Online in-game, in a way, has propelled players to play less objective modes because they know it's not the best mode to pad their stats in. Um, they know they have to worry about some ulterior objective, obviously, where it's not about killing players, so, you know, that's not going to get the maximum points. And unfortunately, um, this KD stats and all these other, other, any other stats, you know, people, unfortunately, there's players that use it to ego boost and become very egotistical and judgmental, which is really lame because, uh, gaming is for everybody. I may play really well, and I may have matches where I'm honestly completely trashing the other team. That's just because the game match made me with them. I'm not doing anything else, you know, to purposely go against these type of players. I mean, that's just the match it was, or I just had a really good round. Um, but I've uploaded plenty of matches where I was playing an objective game, and I went super negative. Um, but we won the game because I was more focused on getting that flag or getting that ball or whatever the objective was. Uh, especially in Battlefront, you'll see me constantly trying to strategically rush the objective. Sure, I'll get killed a lot, but I, I try to kill anybody who gets in my way, but sometimes I've got to focus on the objective if we want to win. Um, and uh, it's just one of those things, you know, there's, there's too many players now with this uh, kind of low attention span kind of thing where they just gotta get kills, gotta get kills, gotta get kills, gotta boost that KD, you know, and unfortunately there's a lot of players that uh, focus way too much on those type of stats because they're there for them to see and they constantly worry about it um, instead of actually just playing the game. Um, you know, even when I, when I started to get really competitive in Halo 3, when I got my 50 rank, yeah, I definitely, uh, was more focused on or more disappointed in Team Slayer games when I would go negative, but um, I never really let it get to my head. You know, I focused on just having fun, and I think I wish people would just have more fun in the games. I think it would make it more enjoyable. But you know, we got these end of the game stats now, as you can see here. And there's probably some people like, man, I did great, even though we lost the match, or man, I did great, but I didn't really help my team move forward. But Anyways, like I said, there could be so much more to talk about this. I'm not saying stats are bad, I'm not saying KD is bad, but some people take it way too seriously where it actually impacts their gameplay or, you know, the match for everybody else. But yeah, that's all I have to say about it. So, until next time, I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoy this gameplay, and see you later.